hundreds of people sent us their entry to take part in the internet's most talented photographer, but only 16 made it through. Now we have four contestants left and we're just one step away from the grand finale. Hessel, photography student who hails from Holland, has shown his ability from early on and has always been one of the competitors who people expect will make it to the final. He's been up for elimination before, but let's see what he comes up with this time. Hessel! That's a little Hessel guitar riff. How have you been doing the mobile phone challenge? Um, I think pretty good. Um, I really enjoyed this challenge. Even though I love film and all that, and I'm referred to as that film guy, I actually really love taking snapshots with uh, my iPhone anywhere, anytime. When I approached this challenge, uh, I thought about the functions that I really love about using my iPhone and what makes it a slightly unique camera. One feature that makes the iPhone uh, really unique is having a great library of apps to choose from. Um, and one of those apps that I use a lot is uh, called Tilt Shift Generator. I mean, the, the, the challenge was mostly in uh, getting the, the sensor of the iPhone to re react to what I want, uh, yeah. to get the lighting right. Yeah. So it was only a matter of really positioning the lighting and then tricking the sensor into yeah. thinking this is the correct exposure and then blocking off the light, stuff like that. As for editing the photos, I only used my phone with the app called Camera Plus, so nothing was retouched on the computer. That's four of you now. This is actually the second from last show. Okay. One person is eliminated and three people go on to the final. Oh, so, that's interesting. Yeah. So, there are four contestants and we had four judges this week. <laughs> Holy <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> this week we had four judges. Graham, action man photographer. Carsten, award-winning commercial photographer and HKIPP president. Mark, commercial photographer and tough guy. Then we have Dave, a photojournalist from the US. It's just, you know, it's a headless corpse. I mean, mm. um... It's not working for me at all. No, I, I mean, the lighting, they try to do something interesting with the lighting, and we've got this girl with a sexy kind of see-through top. Looks like it could be something erotic, but it's not erotic mm. because she's mm. got all her clothes on, and mm. it just... For me, it doesn't really. That doesn't do anything. I, I don't know what's happening, and I don't see I much. Really, in, I don't see much in composition. Just basic yeah. photography. You know? Yeah. The lighting is pretty harsh. And, and yeah. Uh, it's not really there. The composition is not working yeah. for me at all. I think I'm missing the upper third of the image, at least, or the upper half, because the face is completely gone. I see barely see the chin here. You're really not not sure why the photographer took or chose this picture. So, uh, or chose this picture, so... Um, so there's really no story in this photo, you can't see a story in this photo. I don't see it at all, I mean, if you're going <laughs> to cut the head off, go the whole way. Yeah. Know, go the whole mountain, go all the way down with the shoulder. It's missing a lot of stuff it, if it's a concert. Looks, it looks like a concert or something, where's mm. the audience? Mm. Uh, if it's a club, um, where, are the, uh, where are the others dancing, where are the other lights? Yeah. It's, it's not one thing or another. The judges have voiced their opinions, and Hessel looks anxious. Natasha from Russia has shown a consistency throughout the competition. Unlike the other three, she has not actually been nominated for elimination yet. Can this mobile phone challenge be the one that trips her up? Good morning. Привет. 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 Как поживаешь? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, how are you doing? Uh, well, the last challenge was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the only difficulty was after the shooting <laughs> when the phone was broken. <laughs> oh no! Unfortunately, it was broken. <laughs> How come? And uh, the main uh, thing is that uh, this phone wasn't mine. 
<laughs> well, that's okay then. So why didn't you use your phone? Uh, because my phone is <laughs> is awful. <laughs> it is a big piece of stone. <laughs> oh, Very that's... old Nokia. That's not Express too music. Bad. It's a big piece of stone with an awful camera. <laughs> so I asked my friend to give me his HTC. <laughs> As a source of inspiration for this week's challenge, I used uh, photos made by Paolo Rossi. I have always been in love with his style in photography. I was also inspired by some classic paintings. And my goal was to make a very strong portrait and very attractive portrait. <laughs> But of course, we had to show it to our judges. As usual. <laughs> yeah. I love this picture, actually. Yeah. I think this is... Tweaks this, on the head. Yeah, this is uh, well lit. <laughs> um, I think that the uh, this just, you know, shows where pictures and photography is going with the iPhone. I mean, just the quality is, is spot on and, uh, um, you know, the use of the light, I think, is, is very well done. The portrait doesn't really say so much to me. It's a bit of a, a non plus kind of like, well, I'm sitting here and you know, as a fashion portrait, I guess fine, but as a, I, I just think the photographer could have extracted yeah. it a little bit more from the subject. Okay. A little bit more expression. Yeah. yeah. I do like the movement though. Going on. Yeah, a little bit of movement. Is, uh, She's not really expressing much with her eyes. I think just a hint of something yeah. in, in the eyes could have really made the... I'm not working in this case with... Oh, I was just filling up a space right here. I would like yeah. to see yeah. either... Uh, it's not a portrait. I don't want... The catalog's fine, but I don't really like too much tweak. Yeah. When you do that, when you cover it like that, it yeah. adds so much more to that it's, picture. There's too much yeah. emphasis no, on... No, no, no. Even all the way. Just yeah. All the way? All the way. Yeah. The way they've yeah. cropped it, there's yeah. too much emphasis on the tweaks. And I would, I would have yeah, rather seen her... Yeah, because it takes it to a diagonal. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. she's, he or she's doing it on purpose. Yeah, yeah. I would have rather seen more arms and hands rather than see more tweaks. But I can't say that I agree with the judges for this time. Yeah. Because the model really worked very, very well. And it was very difficult for her to show the emotions uh, using only the eyes. Bit of mixed reactions from the judges. In some ways positive, but it seems like it has gone over the heads of some of the judges. Forrest, the man from Maine, has had it good and bad also. He was almost out of the competition for good, but due to a twist in fate he managed to stay. Let's take a look at what he did. Um. Your photo, it was taken during a date. Yeah, yeah, it was cute. It was a, it was a fun day. So you, you like legs and, and heels, presumably? Yeah, as much as any, man. <laughs> so this week when I got the, uh, the email about the challenge, I was a little thrown. Um, mobile phone photography. Uh, I don't know if they were trying to do sort of a, it's not the camera that matters, it's the person behind it. But um, every time I hear that quote, I go, yeah, but it helps. Getting back to the main idea of the cell phone is with you at all times. I mean, it's just sort of, it's really cool that in these moments that where you don't have this huge clunky camera to carry around, that you just have this thing you can just whip out and go, there's a photo. And so um, the photo that I chose for the competition, uh, it came from a date with me and my sweetheart. Uh, my sweetheart and I, we went out to a lighthouse, because Maine is full of them. And um, uh, she had these outrageous boots on, and so I noticed they were playing really cool shadows on the wall, and so I just took advantage of it. There's four contestants. We also had four judges with us. Really? Yeah. So, um, you know, plenty of opinions. I like the colours, I like the composition, the composition. and it reminds me of something still out of uh, a western. I have a bit of a problem with this shot. Oh, yeah. I know, for me it's kind of a product shot on one side and the kind of silhouette on the other, kind of a more abstract portrait, but yeah, even so you can kind of on second 
second viewing, you, s you make the relation between the, the boots and the shadow. But on first view, it's really just the boots for me. Yeah. And so I don't they think they really correspond correspond yeah. that well. I think me. I think they disjoint because you can't see a, a leg. You just see a boot, and then you yeah, see it's a just, figure. It's just but if you saw a bit of the leg, maybe you would you'd relate it to that. But it does look like two separate. Yeah. I think they're competing. I think the, sh yeah. the shadow and the boots are competing with each other here. You know, it could work as a fashion sort of uh, uh, photograph. You know, emphasizing on the boots. Yeah, but as a as a fashion picture, I think this is way too strong because it really takes away from the product. Yeah. Yes, no, I agree. Yeah. I agree, one hundred percent. I think that they're, they're competing with each other um, a little bit too much. And mm -hmm. there doesn't, there's not really much of a story in there. It's just it's a pair of boots and the shadow. There's, mm -hmm. It doesn't. There's nothing else. The responses hardly seem positive. Has he done enough to book his place in the final? We have Charlie, a 17-year-old Brit who works for a product photography company. He's had his ups and downs in the competition, but he has won the last four challenges in a row. Because he won the last challenge, he picked the challenge for this week, mobile phone photography. Any subject, any theme, it just has to be done on their phone. Actually, Char um, not Charlie. Forrest came up with a, a interesting comment. He says he never actually sees you taking the pictures. The floor underneath. Oh, Charlie's saying, oh, whenever you guys are ready. No, we're not ready. He is really excited. It's because he has an incredible photograph, that jerk. He, he, I, I bet he's keep, keeping something secret. He's like one of those Kung Fu masters. He's like, oh, I'm just 17 and oh, I, I, <laughs> I'm just a kid. But he's actually, like, I'm not. I have a pituitary defect. I'm 35. He's he's actually 35, but he looks like a kid. He's like Cartier Bresson. He's Cartier Bresson. He's come back alive. <laughs> he's a Cartier Bresson incarnate. They, they froze yeah. his body and then uh, they, they give it a little electric shock and then massage well, him a bit. Have his, um, his, I've never seen any footage. It must be because I'm not paying attention, but I've never seen any footage of him taking the photograph. That is true. Yeah, so it's because I'm on my own at work and most of the time if if I'm taking it during the week, I take it with um, just walking around on my own, so I don't go out with anyone on my lunch break. Um, and if it's on the weekend, some of my mates, I'll go out Saturday, but they've all got like rugby fixtures. Yeah. So that's why I don't go out with anyone then. Um, so anyway, Charlie, you, you picked the challenge this week, so it's your yeah. challenge, your fault. Yeah. Well, hopefully there's no fault. <laughs> Yep. So your photo, you're you're quite pleased with that, and the, the whole idea. Um, I, I'm pretty pleased with it. Yeah, I like um, all the. I think the little details are the main thing in that. And uh, I was just walking around King's Cross and uh, just about to where I work, um, and got a nice little image. I think with the billboards, looking looking down at the cyclist. Uh, I think it captures the moment. Uh, it's good colours, good contrast. Um, black and white, it's not good colours, uh, but the rest is pretty good. <laughs> um, I think the composition is pretty good, so uh, we'll see what the judges have to say. Well, I wanted it to look like the girl is kind of watching a guy go by, yeah. uh, kind of like almost tell, like evil, evil sense of it, that kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of like the photo booth thing. Yeah. So we took your photo to the judges, and uh, we had four judges this week. Yeah, looks interesting. I quite like the the movement, and plus the uh, the post on the wall is following the person that's moving moving past with the eyes. Yeah, there's a poster, Something. and it's just looking at the right direction. It's drawing us back and forth into uh, what's going on here. It's a it's a nice shot. What do you think the blurred subject? It adds interest or mystery mm. to it. Mm. I would have personally liked to have seen this little girl looks very kind of frightened and scared of something and I would actually quite like to have seen something scary Something scary in this blur blurred mm. uh, motion figure so there's a bit more of a connection of what's happening but I like the fact that they've taken a moment in time it's not just a still life it's not just a you know a scene it's actually a it's actually captured a moment in time yeah. Yeah. i think for me journalistically speaking i think this one is yeah that's that's my favorite good. this is like a cardio Versailles sort of feel yeah. to it you yeah. Know, yeah kind of like i like the vertical lines in it as well as well as the horizontals with the wall i like the fact that the photographer thought about keeping it in black and white as opposed to in color i think a lot of people know you know, venture into color a lot more and they don't think about black and white and just the whole 
aesthetics of that, of the black and white. So for me, it works. It looks like the judges liked his photo quite a bit. Could this be another victory for the young Brit? The judges looked at the photos and thought carefully about which photos were the stronger ones and which were not so good. Yeah. I think for me, journalistically speaking, I think this one is yeah, that's is, that's my favorite. Good. This is like a Cardio Versace sort of feel yeah. to it. You yeah, know, yeah. kind of like that's capturing most, the moment. Yeah, yeah. it puts some thought into it. And this is this is a this is a kind of image why I would have a camera phone in my pocket exactly. because exactly you, you yeah. see a situation you don't have your camera with you but yeah. you have your right. phone and you're gonna yeah. take that shot. So Charlie, your first. Oh mate, come on, hurry up, stop it. <laughs> I have to put my serious face on though, so. Charlie, um, well, sadly, someone else was eliminated because you're going through to the final. Oh! <laughs> yeah. And one more thing, well, this sounds a bit like Steve Jobs. One more thing, they also said that your photo was the best. Again. What? Oh my god! Oosh! Oosh! Oh my god. Oosh! <laughs> <laughs> you were going mental. But unfortunately, one person had to be eliminated, and that was. We will all agree, we that's all agree with that. That's, 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 the, that's, that's the lowest. That's the lowest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hessel. Unfortunately, you're out of the competition. Uh, oh well. So close. So close, <laughs> yet so far away. Yeah. This is uh, pretty. Well, that um, sucks, that doesn't it? It it kind of does, but you know, it's life goes on, uh, so. I, I, I kind of prepared myself for the case that it, um, that it would be out, but yeah, hmm. I guess I need some time to really realize it yet, because it's, uh, it's been part of my life for so long now. <laughs> yeah, it's we're practically like brothers. I'm, I'm practically living with you. Oh well, I'll see you. Yep. Take care. All right. Well, I'll talk to you soon, perhaps. Yeah, very soon. Know. We'll see. I'll let you know how things go. <laughs> okay, will do. All right, later. Later. So there we have it. Charlie, Forrest and Natasha have made it to the grand final of the Internet's most talented photographer. Only one person can take home the grand prize, however. Who will it be?